Good evening. Um, yes, upside down. <laughs> Gibson Custom Art and Historic since 1894. Shall we see what we have here? Ah, this is very rare and very interesting. Yeah, look at that, baby. It is. Oh, I must put this down for two seconds, sorry. Put it in that case. I can adjust. It's gone out of the tin. It's out of the tin. That's because it's the tremolo. Be careful. Just showing you another guitar. Sorry about the. Um, Check this out. How's this? Bad boy. Gibson Les Paul Custom. 1954 reissue. With a Bigsby. Tremolo. I guess you call it tremolo. What else? Whammy bar? Yeah, right. Bigsby. How cool is that? This is a 2002 model, I think. I'll have to double check the specs. <laughs> you know, like I say, there's a lot of specs, you know, to remember for a lot of guitars. Black Beauty. Um, I think it weighs about 10, 10 and a half pounds, probably because of the Bigsby. It's got um, two pickups ebony fretboard. It's got Grover style tuners which I like. I don't like the um, whatever the other kind of tuners they have on this Paul Customs, especially the um, I don't know what the ones like they have on Les Paul standards. They don't look great on the custom. I like the Grover ones. That's just me though. Uh, diamond headstock, triple binding, it's like uh, aged, but what the coolest thing about this guitar, besides being rare, is um, the pickups and of course the big speed. It's so cool. It's a nice shape for 2002. I'll do another video plugging it in. This is just says, hello, how are you doing, Gibson Les Paul Custom? Okay, we got a P90 in the bridge. I love P90 pickups. You should know that by now. My new favorite pickup. And it, El Mico in the neck, like a uh, staple pickup they call it or whatever, El Mico. But the El Mico, they say it sounds kind of like a Gretsch or whatever, but it just, it sounds really cool. It's just different. And when you combine them, it's awesome. This thing is nice. It's in really nice shape. A little bit of wear on the Bigsby handle, but it's got the original historic case. It's got a nice chunky neck. Um, I don't know, similar to maybe like a 58, 59, but a little bit thinner. Not thinner, but not as fat, but I like chunky necks on Les Pauls. This thing sounds amazing. Um, I played it through the Bugera V22, uh, both channels, sounds killer, lots of sustain. Um, tried it through my Cube Light, Roland Cube Light, that's such a cool little amp. Um, yeah, just a little five minute video of this beautiful guitar. Gibson Les Paul Custom. Custom shop. Historic. 54 reissue. They're very hard to come by. They only do so many when they make them. They don't do them every year, I don't think. Um, there's a few out there for sale. I've had this one a while. But love the ebony fretboard. Frets aren't 
too th uh, thin or flat or whatever. They're nice. Not really anywhere. Nice block inlays. Nice binding. Binding is just makes it look really vintage. It's got a really nice switch tip. That Bigsby's sick though. Sick though. It works pretty good. You know, it's got new strings on. Just put new strings, so I'm working them in. But this is very um, unique guitar. Sounds amazing. Very, you know, like um, vintagey. Hey, haven't used that one in a while. Vintagey, you know, vintagey style. Um, no one's got thirty grand or I don't know how much an original nineteen fifty four is, but probably at least thirty, forty grand, maybe even more. But very sexy. Gold hardware. Got the funky um, knobs there. I can't remember what those ones are called. I don't think they're top hat, but um, close to it. <laughs> so many guitars and so many specs. I need to uh, have it all in front of me so I can read it out. But you really want to know every single detail. If you want, get in touch with me. Send me a message. Call me. 1-800. Bob's your uncle. 1-800-Gibson, yeah. <laughs> but I'm a huge Gibson Les Paul fan. Ever since the um, Ace Freely days. Jimmy Page, Billy Gibbons. They all played Les Pauls. There's lots of nice guitars, but Les Paul is just his tone. Tone, tone rocket. Yeah. Hi, my name's Eddie Vegas. <laughs> Huh, it's a tone racket. I love Eddie Vegas. He's a cool guy. You should check him out. You know, check out his cool videos and has some cool gear. He's got loads of cash. So, but that's just a little video of this um, beautiful Gibson Les Paul Custom. Yeah, I need to turn this one on. Not change it? Of course not. You gotta face the other way. But yeah, look at that headstock. Oh look, there's another custom underneath. But um this thing is so nice. I'll be plugging it in soon. A bit tired at the moment. <laughs> but stay tuned for another video coming soon of this bad boy in action maybe through the Randall or who knows what but it's loud even unplugged that's how you can really tell a guitar is when you um, just play it without it being plugged in if it's got you know resonance or you know tone or sounds loud you know it's gonna sound good I think this has got uh, nines to 46 so there you go you got your P90 and your El Nico pickup sounds killer talk to you guys later